And you seem so grounded in like who you are now versus when you came in. Yeah. Again, I was so confused as to who I am. What is my purpose? I mean, we all ask ourselves those questions and I definitely had those questions coming in. And now I feel so much more clear about those things as well. Like who I am, why I am the way that I am, you know, how to work on the good parts of myself and bring those out and maybe how to, um, I've been, you know, some of the shadow parts were highlighted a little bit as well. And so it's just given me so much clarity and yes, balance and groundedness, um, being a part of your workshop. I love that. And was there a week that was kind of hard to go through and process because it really is a living workshop series and it kind of becomes part of your day to day. And I know like a lot of weeks, some weeks are are great and you can feel the transformation and some weeks are kind of crunchy and you're kind of frustrated and the ego might be pushing against some stuff. And was there any specific like week that you remember that was like hard? You know, actually, I was really drawn to the sacral chakra week, which I was surprised by because I thought I would be all about the third eye chakra, right? And maybe the crown chakra, but the sacral chakra really had a lot of aha moments for me, which I was really, really surprised about. And I don't know if that's because I'm a female and we have so much stuff tied up in that area, which I didn't even realize. Um, But the sacral chakra, maybe not so much stuck, but like very transformative and just a ton of aha moments. Ooh, I love that. And that's such a good one. And um, one that happens often for people, especially when it involves relationships and our femininity and how we speak and all that stuff. Um, So I think what is funny, people really get caught up in it being like chakra kingdom and they feel like, oh, like I don't need to know about chakras or I don't really care, but it really is a lot deeper than just the chakras. It's kind of mindset reprogramming, um, energy work, meditation, frequencies, journaling. Like I really do give you guys kind of everything. And what do you feel like was the most uh, transformative tool that that has worked so well for you during the transform series oh that's hard there's a lot of great aspects like you said and I really love how you start out each week with a meditation that was a beautiful way to start out the practice and to really center ourselves and actually I went back and listened to a few of those meditations several times throughout the week. So I really loved that part of it. Um, The journaling was great. Um, That really gave you a second to be introspective with yourself. I love the binaural beats. And um, I just found myself coming back to the printouts that you give us several times throughout the week. There's just so much information included in all of those. And it almost, there's like the slow burn effect, Mm -hmm. you know, that's what's so cool about your workshop, I think, is you get the, um, the benefits of meeting with everyone during the week and talking about where you are and kind of giving yourself that ability to communicate. But then you also get kind of the slow burn effects of letting that information simmer and hearing everyone else out. And there are just so many benefits to sitting with you and chatting. 